you and good day. Uh, thank you for joining me for another Edmodo, Edmodo tutorial video. Um, be sure to subscribe to Chosen One TV for more of this video and other stuff there and so on. Yeah. So let's get started. This video is for students. Yeah, if you're new to Edmodo, this is how you get started. So, of course, we are already at edmodo.com. You would have entered edmodo.com. And if you are a first time student, if you have never been on Edmodo before, you click on sign up. So you have two areas that sign up is there. Sign up is at the top or it's somewhere here. If the website change layout or whatever in the f future, yeah, just look for something that says pretty much sign up for a free account, right? So when you do that, when we click on that, now there are three categories. Yeah, your teacher, student. Right. So again, the video is for creating a student account. I'm a student in a class, right? So you click on that option and you're given some options of how you can go about creating that account. So if you have a Gmail and you have never been on Edmodo, you can use the Gmail and sign up through the Gmail. Same thing with Office 365. Or you can go about and just fill up this form here. So my student name, um, let's say Johnny. Johnny Doe, um, class code. So the, the teacher would have given you a class code. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to just, um, yeah, because I'm not sure who this, I have a class code saved there. Let me see if that would work. Group code valid, right. So most likely it's for another class. So you go about and you create um a username something remember username must be unique and no one should should have it so i'll go chosen one four seven three let me see if anybody have that oh it's available you can enter your email address if you have one if not don't worry it's optional and you create a password and always make sure that your password is a combination of a capital letter a common letter, a number, and a symbol to create a nice strong password. Yeah, so let me see if I can do that. All right, so it tells me it's okay. Um, we won't waste time on that. I've already given you the secret on how to create a strong password. So you click on create account. And Edmodo can link you to your parent, yeah? So if you have your parent uh, mobile number, you enter it here, or you can send them an email, or you can enter the email, right? And the Edmodo would notify your parent so that your parent can be connected and they will receive notification until when you have assignment. You know, sometimes as students, you forget and so on. They would notify your parents that, hey, your teacher would have posted whatever, and your 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 assignment, your son's or your daughter assignment is is you and so on. But for now, we will skip this part, right? And it seemed like the code I entered was for a uh, religious education from one at the Grenada Boys Secondary School. So you see it already placed me in, in my school, right? Now, so you knew and teachers. So this is just one subject. If teachers were, you will need to join your next class and so on, you click across here under my classes, you're seeing three dots, you click on that, and it says join a class, right? And you enter the code that this, the teacher would have given you. Let's see what this one is. And you click on join, and you see you have been added to the approval queue for form two, 2B1 and 2S1. Now, some teachers have it that they have to approve your request. Uh, so that is what happened in there. When the teachers see a name and they know you're a student, they would approve it. Let's see if we could get one that we can join one time. Let me see what other code I have in, in there. Okay, or I can just get an, an IT code. 
Let's enter this code for a class that I have there. W eight X V C B. Click on join. Right. And as you can see, I am now in 2B2 IT 2019 class. And I will click on that class and I can I can see all the work that has been posted there. And it also has a section to the right that says upcoming. Right? And you can see that there are three um Quiz and so on for me to do. If I click on that, it says, listen, form two, input device quiz, uh, take quiz. Yes, yeah, so if I have time now to do it, I can click on take quiz. Yeah. And it's pretty easy. What is the input device shown in the picture? I think that is a webcam. I click on next. When I, I can do all of this, when I finish, I click on submit. Or if the time has I'm finished, it will automatically lock up. Submit quiz. It says, hey, yeah, well, of course you would finish your quiz, but for the purpose to keep this video short, I will still go ahead and click on submit. And it says it has been submitted. Now to check and see your progress in any subject, you click on class, progress. And it will show you the different classes, right? So right now, remember I just did that quiz there? Well, I did nothing for really, just so it's on zero by default. And I got 4%. Wow. So it means I only got a one co um, answer correct. Yeah, of course, you will take your time and do your quiz and so on. Right. So that's some basic stuff you need to know on the student end. Um, another thing is always good to change your profile picture. Um, let's see what's happened there, right? So you upload a picture. It's gonna ask you to re re-enter your password. Hmm, which I can't even seem to remember. Yeah, you re-enter your password, and it's gonna prompt you to um. Select, just like on Facebook, you browse and you select a photo and you change a photo so that your teacher would easily know um, that is you, that is there, especially when your classes, are, your physical classes are big. And lastly, you can invite a parent here. So remember, we, we skipped that part. If you had skipped that part and so on, your, your parent would download the Edmodo for a parent's app and you can give them this number and they can be linked to your account. Yeah, when you go to your classes, you can go to members and see who else is in, in your class and you can see a whole um, group of other students there. And as you can see, let me see, it's good when you actually see an actual picture, um, you can know the person and, and try to use a picture for your profile that, that doesn't have your full body because if you see it's just this little space yeah so it's hard to make out a, a face if you use a full body picture let me see uh this person here all right i mean it's a little clear but they shouldn't have used all of this kind of image features and so on right and there you have it there you have it the student and if you Okay, well, let's look at one more thing, messaging, right? So you need to ask your teacher something, yeah? You can go on message. This year, create a new message, send to my teacher is Dr. Antoine. So I just uh, start typing anything and see Dr. Antoine. And then I come down here and say, so I'm not getting through with X, Y, Z, and I send that message, yeah, and um, 
Dr. Antoine would get that message, yeah, and you see my notification, any notification of stuff, well, yeah, um, on this end, it will let me know, right? So that's the basic, the basic stuff you need to, to do good on Edmuru. Again, remember to subscribe to uh, Chosen One TV so this video and more and other videos can could make it a way to persons who need it. Share it among your peers. You know, anybody you know having difficulties, you can share that. And so on, of course, you can always hit us up and tell us what tutorial, what video to do a tutorial on. All right, until next time, thank you.